Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'll be reacting to Star Trek Prodigy Season 2, Episode 11 and 12. This is yet another Part 1 and Part 2 situation, so I'm going to be doing both in this video. I suppose this is also the mid-season premiere, although it's not really premiering, technically. But it's introducing us to the second half of the season, so it, I'm considering it a mid-season premiere. Yeah, I mean, I've I've loved what we've gotten so far. I don't know, it's been it's been like a couple days since I watched the last couple episodes. So, I've had a little time to think, and I appreciate the comments I've gotten with easter eggs that were pointed out that I otherwise would not have recognized. Cuz while I have seen all of Trek besides uh, the animated series and the latest episodes of Discovery, there there are definitely things that go over my head, and that's usually because it's been so long since I've seen some of the other Trek series. But yeah, I've, I've been looking forward to this for <laughs> for these past couple days. But it's been nice to be able to take a little bit of a break, as much as I do want to get into this half of the season and, and get this finished up. But yeah, where could this go next? I mean, just based on the title of these two episodes, because I don't know anything else, is the Protostar going to get to its destination? What's going to happen with Chakotay? And then if it is... All, if all of that is resolved in these two episodes, what's going to happen after that? I mean, there's still the stuff on Solemn to deal with, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but before I get into these episodes, don't forget to like this video if you like it. And if you have anything to say about these episodes or the previous episodes, please put it in the comments. Also, if you're not currently subscribed, but you like this kind of content, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. It really helps me to stay motivated to get these videos out and helps the channel to grow. So thank you. I think I've talked enough before getting into these episodes, so I will go ahead and do that. Okay, so I guess we're getting a little bit of what's happened to Chakotay in the meantime. I mean, obviously some time has still passed. He still has the beard. But I guess this is before the kids show up. Just a daily routine. Or maybe a weekly routine. I don't know how often he has to collect supplies. I mean, with the Protostar, wouldn't he have the company of Hologram, hologram Janeway? Hmm. Is this supposed to be his crew? I mean, it looks like they've got all, yeah. They've all got the, the uniforms. Everyone he's lost. So I guess Adrik didn't survive. I mean, otherwise we would have seen him by now. Yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful landscape. Could have landed in a worse spot. <laughs> Okay, so maybe they were already here and they were just waiting for a good time to to sneak up on him. Hologram Janeway? It's you! Have we met? Well, she doesn't have the memories. Galactic Raiders that helped me and Adrik escape Solem ten years ago. Ten years? Damn. Where is that bird being? <laughs> Too chicken to see me? <laughs> oh, well, watch your mouth, boy. But how do you know my emergency hologram? She... That helped us once. In a different timeline. Wesley Crusher saved us and brought us here to you. I'm sorry. Time monsters. <laughs> After ten years, I mean, I'm sure it's... Or else things will get a lot worse. Well, I mean... No. No? What does he mean, no? Yeah. We stranded ourselves on this island so the weapon on board that ship never falls into hands like hers. When hmm. Gotcha. That makes sense. Relax. We already set it off. You what? what? <laughs> I can't wait to get back and tell Admiral Janeway about this. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot, man. I can't blame him for being reluctant. Welcome to Isida. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, I can't blame him. It's been a rough ten years. Hey, come on. So would the idea be to send the protostar back, and then just take Ch this this version of Chakotay back to the present, even though ten years have passed for him? Whatever. I ain't afraid of any little story. Ooh, but what about a big one? <laughs> yeah, not sure you you know what you're getting into. Don't leave those cadets out there. He would have let them in. Who? A Drake? Or the old Chakotay? Just so we're clear! It's still my ship! We don't need your help! We're doing just fine! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. 
That didn't last very long. Huh? It's with the sinkhole. Also, even if they send it back to Tars Lamora in this state, it's in a different state than it was when they found it originally. So would would that change things, maybe? We ejected the protocol. <laughs> you ejected it? Okay, so they warp drives too. But without the matter and the antimatter to power the reactor. They wouldn't be able to send it back in this state. Getting my ship off this planet. Even if you wanted to. Huh. So you gotta find a different solution? I don't know. I wonder what their what the plan is gonna be. What's gonna happen here? We've marooned ourselves too, haven't we? You get used to it, kid. Well technically Wesley marooned you here. Feel free to <laughs> find somewhere else. I like the cowboy hat. It's a good look for him. Especially when with him being so I don't know what the word is. Look what Jankum found. <laughs> it's little bird guy. <laughs> don't touch that. Yeah. Remind Jacob never to play chess with him. <laughs> I mean, put two and two together, Jankum. So Adrik ventured out alone to test his theory, but a storm blew in, and he never returned. It's strange. Hmm. I suppose Adrik could potentially still be out there, just. He's seen more than enough tragedy for a lifetime, and can't bear anyone else. Yeah, I don't know. It'll take more than fixing a ship. We need to fix a captain. Okay, well, I suppose the the title of the episodes is more indicative of like it's it the protostar's last flight since since he landed here. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're trying to be helpful. Who needs luck? When you've got accessories. <laughs> and percussive maintenance. Live long and prosper. Well, I'm sure it's softening him a little bit uh, to have company and people to talk to. Plus, they're kids. I mean, they're they're very much more hopeful than he currently is. Can you touch it? Yeah. What? Huh? Well, I'm sure Dal will be fine, but still. Press of maintenance. Why is the blobby guy here? Security. <laughs> <laughs> what you really have to watch out for is down below. What's below? I feel like you should have briefed them on that information sooner. Things that feed on lightning. Huh. <laughs> well, good, <laughs> good thing Jacob got that part fixed too. Or maybe it wasn't damage in the first place it was just powering the ship in general this not ship but this shuttle or I, I don't know what else to call it security I get it now <laughs> I mean I guess it's possible that a Drake survived somewhere down here but I don't know Is this Adrik's collector? Dal, what is it? <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, yeah. You were chasing me, but I took refuge here. I guess he did too. Damn, wasn't sure they would go this this dark in a kid show. You did it, Adrik. You were right all along. Hmm. Well have a chance at getting off this planet all of us damn rest easy <sighs> Janeway said Adrik had a plan he did but he knew before this ship could fly first it has to sail hmm. so sort of get like a runway running start like on the water or whatever this floating material is all right well i guess i'll start part two see see how this continues voyager is on the mend okay well I, i'm glad we're getting back to this they must do it alone now hmm. all we can do is pray for their safe return 
Yeah. What are you gonna What are you gonna do while you're here? I think there's someone you should talk to. Huh? I twisted Who? some arms at Starfleet Medical. She surprised. Beverly? Huh? Doctor Crusher. Hey, Been let's go. Since the Shinzon incident. Hell yeah. Last I heard, he he was busy with the Romulan evacuation. Okay, yeah, this is obviously before Picard season three, so they haven't talked in years. For a time traveler, I wish he had more time to spend with his mother. Mm, yeah, I feel that. All we can do is be there for them when they find their way home. Hmm. Wow. I love that cameo. Oh, so good. For a guy who likes to go fast, you should take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday he's a peach bum. Today he's bossing us around. We've all got a plan. Yeah, well. What do you expect, Dal? You're not gonna captain him. I don't want to leave anything to chance. The warp core may be offline and without. I, I do need to know the plan because I don't understand. With the state of the ship as it is, it's not gonna restore the timeline exactly as it was. Janeway detected a massive hmm. swirling suspension in the eye of a storm. Okay, so they're gonna, I guess, create a new warp core. But I guess they would also have to pick up a, a new protostar. As long as we've got forward momentum, we should maintain buoyancy. Hmm. Janeway can guide us there as we sail across. Once. Hmm. I love the time lapse. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Pushing or pulling? Pulling. Okay. Sounds like someone never studied their Archimedes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get some leverage. All aboard. <laughs> I don't remember if that rover had any role in season one, but maybe that's why that's how Jankum was so quick to fix it. Hmm. Nice. Okay. I like this. This is pretty cool. If only we could understand him. What the heck, Dal? I mean, I guess you can't expect him to have that kind of strength. Ooh. Well, they made it through. That's that's what's important, I guess. Dal, how about you coil the ropes? Do something useful. Do you need assistance? Happy to lend a hand. No. This is my responsibility. Come on, Michelle. Because that's what a good captain does. Sorry if you have a problem with command. Oh, he's still dealing with the future that he saw. But we shared something greater. A cause I believed in. Okay, okay. I like this. It's best to find where you're needed most. And right now, that's rope duty. <laughs> Why is he waving at us like that? Because I mean, he's seeing what I see. I was about to say, why don't you look and find out? Deuterium is at the eye of this storm! I wonder what, like, time they're in. Like, what's the offset for, like, them currently with Chakotay and Janeway in the present? Or at least what we've established as the present. My insides feel like they don't want to be inside anymore. Ah. <laughs> Always experiencing new things. Well, that's not great. Sheesh. I mean, I like I like the premise. I like that it's sort of like a ragtag, jerry-rigging sort of thing. This is our last and only shot. All of us? Well, I don't expect it to be the case, but hopefully they don't lose anyone in the process. Okay. Now, you gonna get that deuterium? Deuterium tanks at 1%. Ah, 2%. Ah okay. It might take a minute, but they're getting there. We may get off this rock after all. Ooh, spoke too soon. Ah, well, wouldn't be too surprising if they lost this version of Chakotay, but I don't know. I still don't know what it means for the timeline. Like what's what's the plan for that? Ooh, that's the end. You better No. No. Come on, grab that rope. Swim up there, if you can. Are the eels gonna help? Oh, okay. I mean, hitch a ride. Might as well. Over there. Okay. 
I mean, I figured they probably wouldn't fail, but I mean, you never really know. Plot armor is only so, so good until the writers deem it not. Hello? Warp core? Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. That's a cool shot, too. Protodrive is powered by a miniature star of exotic matter, which we do not have. Well, maybe you can find one. So let's go build a star. Okay. This is probably the end of the episode. Yeah. Yeah. Well, dang. Now I want to know what happens next. <sighs> Well, I mean, good couple of ep ugh, good couple of episodes. I think my interpretation of the title of the episodes from partway through the reaction turned out to be probably the correct interpretation. It being the last flight before crash landing on this planet, and like the story of Chakotay's last flight with it before all of this, because clearly it's flying again. <laughs> so yeah, I my best guess as to what their plan is is that they're going to get a new protostar for the engine, return Chakotay, this version of Chakotay, to Janeway, uh, to present-day Janeway, and then send this version of the protostar to Tars Lamora in the past. So I wonder if they will reset Janeway, like hologram Janeway, in order to preserve that part of the timeline, maybe erase any, any logs that Chakotay had, or maybe make copies of them for Chakotay to take with him off of the ship when he reunites with Janeway, the real Janeway, and then erase them off of the protostar so that when it's sent back to the past, that it, that, that it will preserve the timeline as we know it, uh, that things won't have changed uh, in terms of season one of this show. And I, I, can, I can get behind that. I think I can accept that. And then, and then all these events will have always happened in that timeline. But yeah, I like it. I liked, I, I really liked, uh, well, I liked that they inspired Chakotay to, I don't know, have hope and to work with them to get the protostar off the planet. I enjoyed the whole sequence of, well, I enjoyed they came together with a plan in order to get the ship up and running. I don't know. I, I'm a little, <laughs> maybe I'm a little confused about the warp core. So in, in past track, and maybe I'm overthinking this, in past track, the warp core is like a physical thing, like a like a canister type of thing that I mean houses the matter antimatter reaction. But like Chicote said, they 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 ejected the original warp core. Vented the warp drives too. Vented the warp drives too. Like I said, maybe I'm overthinking that, but I, I did like the solution that they had with using. Adrik's collection of antimatter, along with collecting the deuterium that was needed to really get the ship going and complete that reaction. Speaking of Adrik, rest in peace. We barely knew you, but seemed like a good character. I, I, I don't know. I would have liked to get to have gotten to know him more, but his sacrifice was very, very much appreciated. I really enjoyed that little side talk with Dal and Chakotay. Like I said in the last video. I, I don't think I don't think that the vision means that he'll never be a good captain or never be a captain in general. I think I think that it was sort of out of context, but maybe in relation to being a captain at some point in his life, but there are plenty of other opportunities and you have to start somewhere. You can't just start off as a captain. That Picard cameo. Well, that Crusher cameo. I mean, I say Picard because uh, that's probably at least one of the things that the Prodigy crew had to, like the production crew of Prodigy, had to consult with the production crew of Picard. I don't know if that's the only thing, if there's more, but I really, I really loved seeing Beverly. I mean, it's not the first time she's done a voice for this show either. So uh, it's just lovely, lovely to have her. And I love, I love that we got some, I guess, more context about her relationship with, with Wesley. Because I don't think Wesley was really mentioned. Maybe maybe he was mentioned a couple times in Picard season three. But like, I think it was established. I mean, I like the the con con the continuity of Beverly not having con any contact with Picard in so many years, but also not having contact with Wesley either. And I wish, at least for her sake, that Wesley would visit her more often. Because <laughs> she, I mean, when you're a mother, I mean, I can only imagine that the connection you have with your children is very deep and something something that you'd, you'd want to experience fairly often. So I can't imagine that sort of isolation that she's had 
from Wesley. Although, I mean, we know, at least those of us who have watched Picard season three, of her other child. So she's not totally alone, but yeah, it, it would be nice if Wesley would pop in every so often. Yeah, I mean, great, great couple episodes. Looking forward to seeing what happens next. But let me know what you guys thought about these episodes in the comments. What did you think of the, the Beverly Crusher cameo? And do you agree with, I guess, my theory for how they're going to send the Protostar back and deal with Chakotay and all of that? But I think that's all I have to say for this for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, looking forward to seeing what happens next. Hopefully I can get that started soon. And hopefully I will see you guys next time.